All right, so we've we've played some like kid aggro Luris decks, right? Like all ones and twos, and then if you have three drops, they're like Call of the Death Dweller and stuff like that. And uh, some things I noticed is Fiend Artisan is a really good card at its base, but there are some times when like maybe it could be a little bit more so that's kind of what this deck is focusing on we are a 4x Luris deck but we're not playing it as our companion because i want to leverage fiend artisan's second ability to find cards like ravenous chupacabra questing beast massacre girl it can also tutor for Luris if we need to and we have like minor mill plants here oh we can also get brain maggot on the upkeep how's that um yeah so I just want to try this out. I, I honestly don't expect it to be that good, but sometimes I wanted silver bullets, so why not give that a shot? And then the sideboard, we have more silver bullets. Uh, just more more silver bullets. So. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. It's only during our turn. Sorry, sorry. Draw us that brain maggot. Doesn't work. Only, only during your turn. Activate as a sorcery. Shrug. Whatever. It's still good. We can still tutor for brain maggot and, and laugh. All right, let's get in there. Kill 25 of your opponent's creatures. I killed 17 creatures in a blue-white deck? <laughs> oh, so close. That's, oh no, stop it. It's not even true. It's not even close to bright. Satterfield three to one. All right. This hand, uh, this hand does a few things. Got a fan of the stream over here, huh? Oh, I think they're just playing mono blue. They are just playing mono blue. All right. Okay. So we do this. We get to play Stitchers and Fiend Artisan this turn. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, bud. Heck yeah, bud. No blocks. Hybrid pips are pretty OP. I love hybrid pips. We could brain maggot them. That's his oracle, you say. I think we just brain maggot them, sacking the Stitcher supplier. Hmm. hmm. All lands. Of course we did. Tre what? What is... What is happening? What is happening? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> My brain. <laughs> I should have bought him that. 
And it has flying as long as you troll another merfolk treasure hunt found deep. It's mono blue merfolk? We're dying to mono blue merfolk. All right. All right, all right. Time to stop messing around. Oh no. This, no, this looks like they thought this through, like, ex except for mirror image. Maelstrom pulse off the top. Oof. Good job, chat. <laughs> I just kill these, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of what this deck is thinking. I wonder if they were supposed to block there. How many... Are we dead next turn? We're dead next turn. We're dead to known information, because they play this, and then we can't block these two creatures. It comes in as a merfolk, makes a merfolk. This, this gets two power. Yeah, that works too. Yeah, we died. Yeah, we died. I mean, that's kind of the idea behind this deck, is Fiend Artisan is, is good. Oh, hey, Plague Mare. Get in my deck. I don't think Brain Maggot's particularly good. Deadweight's pretty good. I'll put one Sage in, but I don't think it's that important. Um... Two more cuts, two more cuts. Doo -doo 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 yeah. Rex Age has a few targets. Um cuts are hard, actually. Let's cut call here. We can bring in another Rex Age. Like, part of me also wants Questing Beast, but I think we just need to control the board long enough to just get him. Wire Train isn't blocking much, but it's good, like, fuel plus, plus a sack, but... Hmm. So if we bring in this and QB, we do like this. It's a weird curve. Weird curve, bruh. They have like one flying dork and it only has flying if they oh god oh god i think we just kill it in general it's a fast questing beast i like that i get to play questing beast in my luris deck you know They went to five cards. I went to Questing Beast.
They could counter it. They showed us a counter. Oh my god, cat. What are you doing? Found a river snake. That card seems really bad. <laughs> it's fine. See, everything is fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> All right, run it back. Run, eat, back. A free pet the cat, you say? Please don't fall to your doom. It wouldn't be the first time, okay, bud? These cards. These cards are good. Auto pass value. Alright. Don't counter me. Yes. Play a bunch of X ones. Oh, that is not an X one. Friends, that is not an X one. Oh, never mind. JK. Doesn't matter. <laughs> oh no, they have good merfolk. We took care of that. It's fine. Is their deck broken, right? Yes, play it. Play it. Yes. Yes. Two mana cycle treasure hunt, right? Uh, okay. Wait, hold on, cancel. Flow to mana. Ah, it doesn't matter. I'm not doing anything with the mana, right? Do you know what time it is? I guess I could have gotten Rex Age, but like QB's doing work. See, it didn't matter. It didn't matter. Yeah, exactly. Swing for lethal. They block creatures. My Fiend Artisan gets bigger. Uh, 
you could technically put um, Gary in your deck if you wanted to. The waters are real deep. Yeah, I agree. This cat is a lot better. Oh, look at that. We finished our uh, things. This deck, this deck kills a lot of creatures, let's be honest. All right. Ooh, this has... Oh, never mind. I have the thing for it. All of these kind of suck when you have the Godzilla arts, huh? <laughs> like, I have all of these Godzilla arts. I have all of these Godzilla arts. Which one's the Mardu? Okay. I'll start work over here, then. It's always weird when I do, like, my random draft or sealed or whatever, and I'm just like, wait, why do I have the foils of these? And it's because of the mastery tree, like... It's all the cute kittens. The issue that we have with the kittens is the sound they make. It sounds like, like, if you have cats as pets, it sounds like your cat is dying in the other room. I wish they would change it. Here, go do a go do a social. <laughs> Keeping one ones against Gruel might be bad. need a mill card though every time you stretch bud i'm just like oh no second one will be a 2-2 two -two. i'm gonna take that trade and this was a great draw Now these are hu hu huge mungus, and I get to block this gruel spellbreaker. Do they have a, a kick? Do. No, it's a 5-5. Five five. only have one card left and then we get to start putting five fives into play <laughs> domri's man bush i like that ours is bigger that came out that came out in a way Gosh, when is it never not last card ambush, huh?
Um, when it's last card in Okay, 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 calm down. Put Meyer Triton into play. I don't hate that actually. Let me go ahead and put Meyer Triton into play. Wow, it didn't mill over. Oh, I'm so tilted now. It didn't mill over a creature. It's okay. We have we have troops in hand, so. Oh hey, it was a land. Nice. Oh, I'm sorry, did I spoop you? Why did you play your land if you're just going to make these attacks? Oh, buddy. <laughs> uh, easy trade. This grows. We kill it with Chupacabra. We smack them for six. All right. This is what a corner looks like. Oh, right. That's a good line. That's a great line. I think that was a Reese's moment anyway, where it's like, no matter what we do here, we're, we're all right. You're all right. You're all right. Um... All right. Let's make our interaction a little bit cheaper. Murder Doge is so underplayed. Uh, I like dead weight. Don't like maggot. I think that's it. Like, because we can't, we can't do this at instant speed. I'm not sure this is worth it. Like, the idea is it can hit, um, it can hit cleave, but, like, if you can't hit it at instant speed, you're just dead, right? There are just so few cases where you untap with cleave and everything is fine. Th sorry, there are so few cases where you untap with cleave full stop. Your opponent has cleave, rather. So, I think this is sort of the route we want to run here. Someone could probably talk me into cutting Questing Beast for for Pulse. Because I play weird decks. Well, look. Or call for Pulse? Like, we could just... I don't hate this. This is probably fine, right? Call is a little slow against aggro decks even though it was pretty good there. All right. <laughs> when you live on the corner, right? Down on the corner, out there in the street, where Clamster is playing a really janky meme. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Let's draw a swamp on turn one. Let's draw a swamp on turn one. <sighs> my Kethis opponent just milled my 80 card deck that also has Nexus of Fate in it. Jeez. Hey. Hey. I'll have you know my songs are good ish. Pray for land. Therefore, song was great. Come on, land. Got. 
Ugh, questing beast. A uh, phoenix. Uh. Uh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Actually, Massacre Girl kills it. Actually, we're just dead. JK. Or die, right? <laughs> Sorry, they took more than like half a second. And, and so obviously it's clean, right? That's how that works. Get to play first. This hand isn't bad. So many tanks in Cleveland. Like, it wasn't even a full tank, but it was definitely just like, no, you have lethal, just play your stupid busted card, right? <laughs> it's like, what else are you going to do with your life? Just play it. Uh, part of me wants to keep this, but the other part of me wants to look for action, so. Like, I can clear the board early. Yeah. Burning tree in this area. Burn Come on, multiple... Multiple BTEs. All in or nothing. Yes! Come on. One more. One more. Ah, sure. Sure, you have a goblin. I almost cut this. <laughs> GG's. The disrespect, right? They know we have dead weight. What, stomp? Get out of here. Oh, let's draw another one. Rats. I was really hoping to draw the what you call it there. So they have a cleave in hand, and they're hoping to draw an untapped red source. Is that what you're telling me? They didn't draw an untapped red source. No, don't kill Fiend Artisan. All right, well, I had the soul read on the bone crusher at least. Do the land too. I mean, you saw what happened in the very first game we played. We just are drawing opposite ends of our deck. Ooh, they found the red source. Oh, but they only have two creatures. What was I talking about? They need one more thing.
Clotus. Okay, well now I know I can block. So, got that going for me. I mean, you keep making these, like, very sweeping comments as if we've played more than, like, two games with this. Artisan is gone. Oof. I mean, yeah, that's. It's called a wrong half. It's fine. You're allowed to have wrong halves. Like, it happens all the time. Do I go to three here? I hit them to four, and this just kills us, basically. So, like, we die to a stomp, we die to all sorts of nonsense now. <sighs> Maybe I'm supposed to play this to double block. Yeah, that's fair. QB? Yeah. Oh, uh, we're dead. Yep, I goofed up. You're right. So if I play Massacre Girl, we win the game. So. Yep, 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 yep. That's fine. Deck one, I lost. Everything's fine. <laughs> I mean, chat's probably right more than I am on average. And to better articulate what I was, hey, Lurking Blade. To better articulate what I was saying before, I don't think having QB and Fiend Artisan in your hand at the same time is bad. I think having uh, Fiend Artisan and not having one of your eight graveyard enablers is bad. Like, having Fiend Artisan and QB in your hand is fine. Like, you just have a two drop and a four drop. That's perfectly fine. Uh. Stream is going all right. Oh, that was my knee. Yeah, 12 enablers would be good, but we ain't got no 12 enablers. doesn't matter I don't have a two drop anyway but <laughs> all right 
And then, like, there's, like, we could talk about the tension between Call of the Death Dweller and Milling Over Massacre Girl. Yay, I get to draw more cards. Alright, have a good night. Oh, I'm so dumb. I wasn't paying attention. I keep thinking this is a stupid swamp. I should have a 5 5 in play. Ugh. Here we go. Well, I feel like we're about to lose this league because I've made some really loose, bad plays. Even though the deck has put me in position to make some really good plays. Gosh, if we had a 5-5 five, five, and then we drop QB next turn. Golos. Chupacabra. Stop that. Now. Gosh, I could have played this, killed that, questing beast, killed this. Oh gosh, yeah, I've seen that bug a lot. Yeah, I agree. Which typically means the deck is bad. I don't necessarily think that's true here, but yeah. Having Questing Beast against Field of Dead is pretty sweet, though. They keep leaving up four mana, five mana. Exactly where I want them, opponent. Exactly where I want them. Only time will tell. Yeah. It needs a lot of uh, thought, which I fail frequently to provide. <laughs> so thanks? <laughs> oh no. I'm sorry for your misfortune there. That's a 6-6. Six, six. That's, uh, that's a 6-6. Six, six. So I guess it's time to give them the bad news. can't beat the 6-6, six, six, so if they block my questing beast, I'm pretty happy. Thank you. Now I have 8-8s. Eight eight. Eight eights that notably get chumped a lot, but... Eight eights nonetheless. Yeah. I'm starting to think that turn we goofed up didn't even matter, huh? I'm starting to think. Yeah, I'm starting to think the turn we goofed up didn't even matter.
Oh, this is where I would like pulses over trophies, honestly. Questing or massacre girls only good if we have one of our one drops out or one power things out. These are very good. I'm just not going to bother with their hand. I'm just going to try and kill them, I think. So close. So close. Oh, these lands killing me. All right, has has QB. Yeah, cutting troops could be reasonable. Alright, we hit two creatures. You love to see it. Part of me wants to hit this, but the other part of me wants to not give them a white slash blue source. Sure. Now I might do it. Like EOT, kill their field of the dead. And we have time and we have a QB. Oh, just put your freaking land into play. <laughs> Unless you disconnected. Unless I disconnected. Oh, we spoofed him. Did I disconnect? Is this what being disconnected looks like? There's the... Okay, their timer's going down. I think they disconnected. Okay. They disconnected. Hey, a backup QB. It looks like they're back. They highlighted Uro. Found their white source. Found two white sources. I mean, they missed playing an extra land with Uro, if anything. I think they drew a land or had a land in hand because there was a pause. So they could be at six lands now instead of five, which is relevant because they have six differently named lands. So their next one they play is, is a creature. Ooh. 
Yeah, they they're having some Comcast issues for sure. Nope, they're back. They're highlighting Luris. Everything is fine. Okay. Watch. Sure. I have a plan. that coming um i don't really have anything to cast from the graveyard because i'm a land short so i'm gonna do this and pass the turn if it looks like they're about to make zombies oh never mind i'll shoot One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, sure, that resolves. Yeah. Uh, this does one, two, three, four, five, six. So if they have a forest, this gives them a zombie, but. This wasn't an arm, sure. Trophying the field. Oh, yeah. That's fine. Like, we have two QBs. Gosh. Just no luck, huh? Gonna play this because it mills more more cards. Looking for that friend. Cool. Yeah, they have two fields. Uh, yep. They play this, go up to five, or they just play an Excess of Fate. Sure. So they play this, go up to five. Wow, this is super greedy and doesn't even reward them. almost had it if i hadn't blocked if i had just taken the the two that would have been funny all right um yeah i guess we could just try it here have to do this if we're doing this next turn or i guess we can just yeah okay gotcha 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 they make an uro so 
Hopefully they just escape this and then we can massacre her. Okay, sure. That's a that's an option too. Yes. Correct. Six, seven, eight, twelve, down to ten. I think we milled over both Maelstrom Pulses. We did. It has Vigilance. <laughs> uh, pet the cat? Why, yes, I will pet the cat. Oh, there's the land to turn late. All right. No, why? Look, it's fine. How is QB lethal? They had so many blockers. Like, you can't just... <laughs> Please stop. They're at five life. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I know what I'm doing sometimes. They gain three life from Uro. Next Sigh of Fate. Might seal ours. Yeah, that's... Uh, six attackers, so that's ten exactly. Yeah, we're just dead on board. Okay. Alright, well, we definitely could have won the red game. No. All right. We definitely had a match win in there that I punted. Or the Gruel match, rather. The Gruel match, I, I punted. And so the deck has two match wins. Um, hmm. So the question is, is the concept... Is the concept of tutoring some silver bullets worth not having Luris as your champion or as your companion? Uh, I think the jury's still out. Like, I don't even know that having Luris as our companion would have saved us in some of those those games. And like having Chupacabra requesting Beast and Massacre Girl were actually keeping us in the games. Uh there are definitely some cards I wish we had. Like, if Death Gorge Scavenger could exile entire graveyards. Yeah, like... Sultai and play. Yeah, th that's the other thing. You could go Sultai or you could do... Um, you could go White for, like, Remorseful Cleric. Huh. Yeah. So, so you have, you have a couple options. You could also that would mean you could also change your reclamation sages to Knight of Autumns. So like, these could be Knight of Autumn, which is just good in more matchups. Uh, Maggot could be uh, cleric. Or whatever it's called, remorseful. Then you could trade Death Gorge Scavenger and Crawl Harpooner for a couple magistrates. I'm not playing 80 cards for Yorian.
But yeah, that gives you more options. Um, are there any other good white cards? It also makes Luris easier to cast because you'll have white mana. So yeah, so something like that. Uh, I'd have to like look at the mana base and cry. Like you do have triomes at least. But yeah. Yeah, Ranger of Eos is really sweet, actually. And honestly, what you could do there is uh, you could have... Um, you could have Giant Killer. Right? Like, now this fetches up your Mana Dork, your Citrus Supplier, and a Kill Spell? Yeah. I don't hate that. This gets a little less value. Then cut... Alurus, maybe. And then we were being told that having 12 uh, of this effect is good. So, like, uh, I don't even think we can do it, though. I think we're too toolboxy. Yeah, that's true. This now, now finds your Stitcher Supplier, so it's probably fine. The, the issue is I don't want to cut these cards. These six cards here, I think, are worth it to not go all creature. Yeah, de dead weight and trophy and pulse are just, like, too good to go all creature. But I like I like this as, an, as a concept. We are currently on 24 lands. We probably have to go to 25. Yeah, I just, I cut it down to two because it's just, it it is kind of a clunky draw because we have these creatures now. So I think cutting to two is probably right. Knight of Autumn is just such a sick upgrade though. Nah, I don't think this is ever bad with Fiend Artisan because most of the time you're getting back, back Stitcher, Supplier, Meyer, Triton, and or Fiend Artisan. So it, it's usually perfectly fine. Oh, Remorse, Remorseful Cleric goes to our graveyard too. Badoom. Yeah. So I'm not going to post this list to the... Uh, to the YouTube video because I don't have the mana base worked out, but this is probably where I would I would look to start with Big Luris. God, Ranger of Eos is such a sick idea, though. Huh. Yeah, I don't hate this. This looks sweet. Like, this is now easier to cast. We have... Oh, yeah. Tristani is interesting. Uh, five mana is kind of high, but it does just sort of end the game. And yeah, in the sideboard, it could be sweet. I don't like this play crafter, if I'm honest. Oh, yeah, it makes extra bodies, but it's like super expensive. That's the problem. Yeah. Oh, we could like... We could have drawn her in that last game because they stole our questing beast. Yeah. 